to transfer onto my canvas, what I did is I used an app called Procreate to draw out the design of the character. And then I uploaded it through my Cricut so I can try and use for this time a paper cutout instead of my usual adhesive vinyl that I used to create these. Now, one thing you want to do if you are doing it this way, because I don't have a projector to project the image, you want to make sure that you turn on the mirroring for your project so that it prints it in reverse because we'll be working from the back side to the front side. So we want to make sure that we see we want the image in reverse how we want to see it on the form. And so I'll just take this and uh, cut it out and then we'll put it right onto our canvas. From here, I've just used my little frame that I created and I cut out some monk's cloth to the size of the frame and then used a simple staple gun in order to stretch the fabric over the frame so it's nice and tight over there throughout the monk's cloth and just use the staple, staple gun to staple it all down, multiple staples along the outside edge here in order to hold it down into place. Now our next step, I'm going to be applying the design. From here we've got our design all cut out. This time I decided to use a paper in order instead of my usual vinyl that I use for attaching the image to the background. And from here I'm just going to trace around the entire image to lay the outlines with just the marker of the picture. here we are we've got it traced out I have now since I finally did one with the paper cutout instead of the adhesive vinyl that I usually use I do not like the paper cutouts <laughs> unfortunately but let's be honest this was not anywhere close to as clear as lines as whenever I've used adhesive vinyl so for me personally I don't think I'll ever use paper cutouts again Next, we're gonna start doing our punches for our rug. What we're gonna need is a simple punch tool. You adjust this uh, via the little dial for whichever length that you want your punches to be. Personally, I'm wanting to do this one with a larger weave, so much longer loops. So I'm putting on the highest setting. I purchased this off of Amazon. I think it was about $10, $12. I'll actually leave a link in the video description box below for if anyone's wishing to purchase one. To load this, you look for the very tip of the needle and follow the loop right here at the end of our loading tool. We place that through the hole in the needle. Then I find it's easy to turn it over and make sure that the loop and metal is going down the center of the punch tool. Follow that, I'll keep following it through until the loop end pops out the opposite end of our punch tool. And then we simply take our yarn and insert it in between the wires of that loop. And then pull on our end to feed the yarn through the punch tool. And now you're all set to start doing your punches. On this project, I kind of got a little ahead of myself for the video part. Um, I started punching all the other colors much more quickly. But here I'll show you actually doing the punches with the outline colors for this rug. Um, I have my blue loaded. Now what we're gonna do after we have our punch needle loaded is pick our area. I'm gonna start filling in this space right here between with the hat and the glove make sure you have a little bit of extra hanging off the end 
and I'm going to fill in starting right here into this corner and we're going to take our punch needle and just push all the way through the fabric. Now that we're through, reach behind onto the opposite end and pull on your yarn until that tail comes all the way through your project. Now here we are, we have it all set. Now from here, we just simply pull up our punch needle, move over a little bit and punch back down. And remember to keep a lot of working end loose around you. If you don't have your yarn for the working end down here, well loose, you end up with uh, odd sized loops on the other side of the rug. So it looks very off and not very appeasing.
So here we are, we have our rug. It's finally all cured for the glue on the background. To remove it from the frame, I'm just using, it's a very small screwdriver. And what I'm going to do is come right here into the edges, right where the staples are, work the screwdriver underneath the staples and just pop them up. Now, a lot of them do get stuck on the one side where the staple doesn't want to come out. So I just come in with a pair of pliers, grab onto the staple and pull it out. And then just repeat all the way around until you have gotten all of the staples removed so that your cloth and rug is free from the frame. As soon as our rug is removed from the frame, what we're gonna do is trim out our rug from the monk's cloth. So just take a pair of scissors and cut in and towards the design. And we're gonna wanna come into about one inch from the edge of our rug where we've done our punches. And we're just gonna trim around the outside of the rug design, following all the way around the entire rug. So we have our design all cut trimmed out. So now what we're gonna do is move in this edge. So places like say here, where it actually indents in, we're gonna take a small pair of scissors and just trim it right in without cutting your fibers on the other side. And we're gonna bring this up for the corner and pull them in like so. And we're gonna take some of our glue from our glue gun and just attach a dab of it right to the back in order to hold down the monk's cloth. And we wanna pull it up because we're not gonna do any loop stitch around the edge, enough so that the fibers for the rug are just kind of showing over a little bit. And then, like, cause see how it's uh, on a curve and if we were to follow that straight line, it would bend. Once again, take our scissors and cut down the fabric. And this is so that we can follow the lines going around. So this one pulls up, just a dab here. And sometimes also, if you get to this where the back is still pretty tacky from the glue, for the back of the rug, you won't need the actual glue gun for this step. But for mine, I did not get to that stage. So we're just gonna be using the glue gun to put it down. You could also use a variety of different adhesives to attach this back down or this lip down. We'll just follow all the way around the edges of our rug. So from here we have all of our edges all the way around our entire rug all glued down. Next piece is to put on the backing of our rug. Some would like to use a spray adhesive before putting down the felt or in my case, my back is still just a tiny bit tacky, so that's enough to hold it down. And I'm just gonna glue around the edges here. So we lay our felt down, and if you're using a spray adhesive or just using the slate tack, smooth it down, and then come around and just trim out the felt to the edging 
of our project and I'm just going to glue right around and like I said if you'd used a spray adhesive you would just be spraying onto it and if you don't have it trimmed down just perfectly around here on the edges you can always come back in later with smaller scissors in order to just finish up that little bit of a trim to keep it nice and smooth all the way around and we're just going to go around the entire border of our rug trimming it and adhesiving it all the way down for our rug backing all right with our rug backing all finished and put on our last step is to remove all of our little ends onto the front like see these are little loops gone bad where we started or ended we'll just come through and trim off all of those little pieces and because we did glue the back we don't have to worry about any little pieces coming loose flying away because of this process so just go through and trim For this project, I'm going to actually do a technique for you here. It's called carving. You take a small pair of scissors and right along the edge of two colors, just come through and snip. So what it does is kind of defines the lines between the two. Now if you can see right in here, just where we've done that little bit, how much better of a line it creates. 